Hi, I'm KK. There's a common perception that wireless capacity is scarce and in short supply. But this is not true. We are surrounded by plenty of capacity. In most locations, our cell phone could have coverage from five or more service providers and 10 or more Wi-Fi networks. Yet most of these are off limits to us. My team and I are aspiring to change this. Therefore, we design a network architecture that allows us to use all the wireless networks around us. To demonstrate the feasibility of our approach and to allow you to experience the potential improvement, we stream video from a moving vehicle. In this demonstration, TY will drive around a building streaming video from her golf cart. In this experiment, we have access to two wireless networks, a Wi-Fi network consisting of seven access points and a WiMAX network located on the roof of the adjacent building. You will see the difference in user experience firsthand. In this first round, we're using a plain old Wi-Fi network, streaming the video using one access point at a time. A visual aid on the right shows you the access point being used. As you can see, there are glitches in the video during each handover. Sometimes there's even a huge interruption. This is the typical quality we get today. So how can we improve the user experience? Now TY will drive a second time around the building. This time, we'll exploit all the wireless networks around us, including both open flow enabled Wi-Fi and WiMAX. As you can see in the visual aid on the right, we are using up to three connections at one time. You see a significant improvement in video quality without any interruption. You can now see stretches of the tour that were missing in the previous round. This is what we want as users, technology that delivers. We do not really care which network is being used. We hope our demonstration has shown you why we should aspire to use all the networks around us and possibly a hint on how this can be done. In this demonstration, we have done this using OpenFlow Wireless.